This screen setup is what I use for work as well as leisure, both at my parents' place where I am now down in Norfolk, as well as up in the northeast at my university place. Don't ask about taking this collection of screens in a city car, however. It takes up about half the space in the car, let alone all the other stuff that I have to take with me to university, like books and clothes and stuff like that. But anyway, let's go through what all these monitors are and what they do, and then talk a little bit about the center screen of the lot, which is the Samsung 3840 by 2160 monitor that I recently got, which kind of is what the title of this video is about a little bit. The laptop driving all of these screens is a Dell Precision M4700, and it has an Intel Core i7-3840QM, and 16 gig of RAM, and an NVIDIA Quadro K2000M. Its internal screen is stand 1920 by 1080p however, it has a lot of external video display ports. So in its display port, which then feeds the Samsung U28, E590, which is the 4K display. If I just tilt the display down, it also has VGA, which feeds the right portrait Dell 245 FPW, which I use for programming and spreadsheets and things like that. But it also has a full size HDMI port there, which then goes to an HDMI to DVI-D cable, which then goes into the left portrait Dell 245 FPW, which is also used for sort of programming and spreadsheets and sort of network and website related stuff really. So they those two Dell screens each have a resolution of 1200 by 1920 in this configuration, although obviously if they were mounted landscape, their resolution would be 1920 by 1200. The Samsung monitor, which like I say is the U28 E590 model cost about £260 from the local computer store and it has a resolution of 3840 by 2160 and I use this for general productivity purposes mostly so dealing with folders, files, word documents although sometimes I do that on the portrait ones because obviously they're great for sort of dealing with things that involve A4 sheets but also I use this screen for doing video editing because it's 4K and therefore it's quite good for editing video and being able to see the kind of detail in a relatively native format. Although driving all of this does give the laptops some work. The fans aren't on at the moment, but quite often they are. At this point of the video, I was going to review over the capabilities of the Samsung monitor and how its image quality is. But I just hopped on Amazon and it is now £199, which is incredibly cheap and actually makes me a little bit salty because I paid, like I say, about £260 or so pounds for it not too long ago. So that is a little bit annoying. But certainly at that price, even if it was utterly awful pretty much, I would say buy it because... 3840 by 2160 for £199 from a major brand is very, very good. But the Samsung monitor is actually pretty good, actually. Despite being so cheap, it has AMD FreeSync. It can do picture by picture or picture in picture. It has two HDMI ports and display port. And image quality is pleasing, especially for the price with good viewing angles. And also, as you can probably see, compared to the screens that I have on the side of it, the Dells, which themselves actually get very bright. In fact, it's probably comparing it to laptops probably better. It gets very bright with a rated brightness of 370 candelas per meter squared. And contrast is also rather good on it as well. So I have been very impressed, to be honest. I mean, even paying about £260 for it. I don't have any complaints at all. I can't comment specifically about the FreeSync capability because I don't personally really game, so that doesn't really feature all too much. 
and also to say it has got a quite usable menu as well just using a kind of joystick behind the screen where you can adjust various settings and whatnot so to be honest all i'm going to say is basically buy it for that amount of money unless you've got like your dan ultra sharp or really high end 4k screens already if you just using kind of fairly run-of-the-mill 1080p displays then i can't really see you being disappointed with this 4k monitor at all really it even came with an hdmi and a display port cable if only i'd waited a bit longer but it's kind of the nature of online shopping really and product cycles but like i say i'm happy with it even having paid 260 or so pounds for it so um yeah thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this slightly different content to what i typically do at the moment and i hope to see you on the next one